Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where we'll take a look at updating from Docs to Drive. This is for staff and students. Google Drive is just a minor update to the Google Docs environment. You can think of Google Drive as your online hard drive where you'll continue to store your Google Doc files as well as being able to store other files there uh, that you want to add. want to point this out on the Franklin web page we've added a students and a staff button up in the menu bar. If I go to the students area, this is kind of a portal page to different online tools that students might use, one of which is a link right to the Franklin Google student login page. There's also one on the staff page that takes you to the staff login page uh, for the district staff. So I'm going to log in as a student. Remember when you log in, it is first.last and your password. Once you sign in, you'll see a list of the tools that you are that are allowed to be used, and one of which is Drive and Docs. So I'm going to go into Drive and Docs. So currently I'm in Google Docs. One way to know if you're still using Google Docs is up here in the top left corner, if I make this a little bigger here, uh, right above the Create button, uh, it says Docs. There's probably a banner here that says Google Drive is coming. Uh, do you want to update? And that is where you can click. There's a link there. Uh, it says find out more and get started. If for some reason you don't see this banner, once you're signed into your account, you can go to drive.google.com and you can start the process there. Because I do see this link, I'm going to go ahead and click it. And this is just a Google Drive information page. You can read through this information and understand a little bit more about Google Drive. When you're ready to update, you're going to click this Get Started with 5 Gigabytes Free. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And that's it. Now there's a little welcome window with a little introductory video. I highly recommend you watch that. I'm going to mention some of the things they mentioned in there as well. To continue on, click Try Google Drive. You'll get some other ads mentioning new features. Uh, they tell you that the Settings button, you can return to the old way if you want. You're going into Settings. I'm going to dismiss this little bubble. This says that you can download a, a tool, download a program called Google Drive for Mac or for Windows. Uh, district computers have this installed for staff. Students are encouraged. If you want to use this, please use this on your home machines. And that'll be better explained in the video, the, uh, the video that Google has you watch. I'm going to close this banner. So here is Google Drive. Now I know I'm in Google Drive because on the top left here it says Drive. Some of the things that are different, it's not called My Collections here anymore, it's called My Drive. Little arrow, I can arrow down and see any folders I made in the past. Nice thing is Google now calls these folders instead of collections. That's one little tweak, so if I were to go into the Create Choice, there's a choice for folder. Collection Shared With Me is gone, instead it's called Shared With Me. If I click on that so it's red, this shows any files or folders that have been shared to me. One recommendation, if you have a folder that is shared to you from a teacher or if you've clicked on a teacher's folder and it's been added here, uh, one suggestion would be to checkbox those folders. And as you check them, there's a button up here that says Add to My Drive. What that does is that just moves them into the My Drive area so it's easier to see. When you click this drop down arrow under Shared With Me, you won't see any collections there anymore. You have to be clicked on it so it's red to see any files or folders here. So I would recommend moving whatever files you want to have quick access to, whatever folders rather you want to have quick access to, move those to the My Drive area. It does not affect the person, the original copies of the files. Other things to point out, if I zoom out here a little bit, on this left side menu, under More, there's some other ways to look at your files. Home is gone. Home was a choice that, that used to be here and said it was replaced with activity. Same concept, if you're clicked on activity and activity is red, you will see any files you've created as well as any files that have been created by others. So this shows uh, both. The search at the top is still the best way to find files. So if I had to find um, maybe a, a specific uh, science file and I knew science was in the name I could type science and hit return that would bring up anything with science you can also use this little arrow 
on the far right of the search bar to search specifically for file types, documents, folders, drawings, things that are owned by you, not owned by you. I could type a person's name. If I knew a specific teacher had shared a file to me, I could type that teacher's name and any files or any mention of that teacher would come up. Uh, so here are different teachers from, or here are different files from my science teacher. You can change the way you look at your files over here next to the sort button. You can continue looking at it in list view, which I would recommend uh, just to see the file names. Or you can see little snapshots of the files. This gets a little big. I think it's a little annoying personally. But that is pretty much it. Just a lot of little updates. Uh, we'll be going over some other updates as you continue to use Google Drive more and more. Thanks so much for watching.